Today our video has lots of tornado facts for kids. What is a tornado? A tornado is a rapidly spinning tube of air that extends from the base of a thunderstorm to the earth's surface. It touches both the ground and a cloud above. Tornadoes are also co called cyclones or twisters. How do tornadoes form? Most tornadoes form from thunderstorms. You need warm, moist air and cool, dry air. When these two air types meet, they create instability in the atmosphere. A change in wind direction and speed at high altitudes causes the air to swirl horizontally. Rising air from the ground pushes up on the swirling air and tips it over. The funnel of swirling air begins to suck up more warm air from the ground. The funnel grows longer and stretches toward the ground. When the funnel touches the ground, it becomes a tornado. What do tornadoes look like? Tornadoes can appear as a funnel shape or a thin rope like shape. Some have a turning smoky look to them and others contain multiple vortices which are small tornadoes rotating around. Even others may nearly be invisible with only swirling dust or debris at ground levels. How do tornadoes stop? It's not fully understood about how exactly tor tornadoes form go and die. Tornado researchers are still trying to solve the tornado photo. What is a supercell thunderstorm? A supercell thunderstorm is a long-lived thunderstorm whose updrafts and downdrafts are in near balance. These storms usually produce tornadoes that stay on the ground for a long time. Supercell thunderstorms can produce violent tornadoes with winds ex exceeding 200 miles an hour. What is a water spout? A water spout is just a weak tornado that forms over water. They are most common along the Gulf Gulf Coast. Water spouts can sometimes move inland, becoming tornadoes causing damage and injuries. What is a land spout? A land spout is a very weak tornado. It, it is the land equivalent of a water spout. What is a dust devil? A dust devil generally forms in the hot sun during the late morning or early afternoon hours. These are mostly harmless whirlwinds and are triggered 
ruled by light desert breezes. These create a swirling plume of dust with, with speeds rarely over 70 miles an hour. These differ from tornadoes in that are not attached to a thunderstorm or any cloud or, and are usually very weak. What is a gustanto? A small tornado formed at a weather front by gust o- gusts of wind. What is a multiple vortex? A tornado with more than one spinning tube of air. How are tornadoes measured? The Fujita scale is a common way of measuring the strength of tornadoes. The scale ranges from F0 tornadoes that cause minimal damage through to F5 tornadoes which call massive damage. Here are some examples of the different tornadoes. F0, 40 to 72 miles an hour. Light damage, branches broken off trees, minor roofs damage. F1, 73 miles an hour to 112 miles an hour. Moderate damage, trees snapped, mobile homes pushed over, roofs damaged. F2, 113 to 157 miles an hour. Considerable damage will by homes demolished, trade uprooted, strong built homes on roof. F3 158 to 206 miles an hour. Severe damage, trains overturned, cars lift did off the ground, strong bi- built homes have outside walls blown away. F4, 207 to 260 miles an hour. Devastating damage. Houses leveled, leaving piles of the breeze. Cars thrown 300 yards or more in the air. F5, 261 to 380 miles an hour. Incredible damage. Strongly built homes completely brought blown away, Autom- automobile-sized missiles generated. How far can tornadoes travel? Most tornadoes travel a few miles before exhausting themselves, but extreme tornadoes can travel much further, sometimes over a hundred miles or 161 kilometers. The tri state tornado that traveled through parts of Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana in 1925 left a path of destruction over 290 miles or 352 kilometers long. Where do tornadoes occur? The USA uh, averages around 1,200 tornadoes every year, more than any other country.
The majority of these tornadoes occur in a unique area nicknamed Tornado Alley. U.S. states most often hit by tornadoes include Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Florida. When are tornadoes most likely to occur? Tornadoes can happen at any time of the year and any time of the day. In the southern states, peak tornado season is from March through to May. Peak times for tornadoes in the northern states are during summer. Tornadoes are most likely to occur between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. Where was the deadliest tornado? In 1989, the deadliest tornado ever recorded in the world killed around 1,300 people in Bangladesh. What damage can tornadoes cause? They can destroy large buildings, uproof trees and hurl vehicles hundreds of yards. Damage paths can be in excess of one mile wide to 50 miles long. What should I do in a tornado? Before tornado! Have a disaster plan. Prepare a kit with emergency food. Have enough food and water for at least three days. During a tornado. Go to a basement. If you do not have a basement, go to a room without windows on the lowest floor. If you can, get under a sturdy piece of furniture like a table. Get out of cars. Do not try to outrun a tornado in your car car leave it immediately if you're outside go to a ditch or or a low lying area to and lie flat in it if you at school during a tornado every school should have a disaster plan and frequent drills Crutch down on your knees and protect your head with your arms. Interesting tornado facts. 69% of all tornadoes are labelled weak tornadoes. Meaning they have a lifetime of 1 to 10 minutes and winds less than 110 miles per hour. 29% of all tornadoes are labeled strong tornadoes. Meaning they last 20 minutes or longer and winds reach 110 to 205 miles per hour. percent of all tornadoes are labelled violent tornadoes and can last over an hour.
I hope you learnt lots about tornadoes and enjoyed listening. Don't forget to give us a like and visit us at www.learningmolaka.